Yo, 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 yo. What's good? It's your boy Jay Slade with CTB Boxing. Chin Tuck Boxing. My boy Mon. Say what up to him, bro. What's up, everybody? Like and subscribe, man, and comment, man. We love boxing. You love boxing. Most definitely, most definitely. What are we talking about today, bro? What's on the menu today? Man, let's talk about this clout chasing at 135, man. It's been on my mind, man. We got to discuss. Man, that shit crazy in 135, man. Yeah, so much clout chasing. You got like two two fighters you can literally quote them as being in clout chasers. Who the two who the two fighters we talking about, man? Lopez and Garcia. Number one and number two. Yeah. So let's get on Lopez first, man. See, he seemed like the easier the two to talk about to chop up. What 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 makes Lopez a, a clout chaser in 135? I mean, when he first came out, man, I was a big fan of Lopez, man. But now he running around talking about he undisputed. And I said, wait a minute. He undisputed, <laughs> man. It's a guy named uh, Devin Haney that's a WBC champion, man. Yeah, is it two WBC? So what are you talking about? Is it, is it two, two belts we don't know about? What's going on yeah, with that? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know either, man. It's, it's, it's weird. If I'm not mistaken, the belt, what belt did Lopez have? Uh, not Lopez, but Lomacheco. What belt did Lomacheco have when Lopez beat him? What WCB, what WBC, t- WBC title did Lope, uh, Lomachenko have? He didn't have one. Oh, yeah, it was that franchise title. Yeah that's, yeah, that's what I thought. It was the franchise title. Yeah, the franchise yeah, yeah. title. One that, of, that, that ducking title. That two-year-old belt. It was made in 99. Uh, two, oh, no, I said 99. 19. Yeah, 2019. Right in 19. <laughs> It's kind of weird because I thought that belt couldn't change hands when they uh like the, the franchise designated franchise champion was going to be designated for a career. I thought it was like a career title. Yeah, th- see the thing but, is, not not to get into it too deep. The history of the franchise was for Canelo. But Canelo was a big money draw, and mm. these these sanctioning bodies get sanctioning fees mm. normally around three percent. So right. when when Jamel was Canelo mandatory, they didn't want to lose him as the champion because he didn't want to fight Jamel. Mm. So they said, "Hey, we're gonna make you this title as a franchise uh, champion. You can't lose it, but because you got that title, when you fight, we will still get those sanctioning fees." So it jumped from him to Loma, and all of a sudden, when him and, when Loma gets it, and he's getting ready to fight Lopez. All of a sudden, you can you can win the the franchise title. It's huh? weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a weird situation, man. I don't know. I don't know how they. Like, what makes the WBC think that's that's cool to do? But Lopez is using it to his advantage. He's using it to basically clout chase undisputed man. He feels he has the right to claim an undisputed champion at that weight, and in doing so, he kind of holding. A real undisputed fight hostage instead exactly. of actually instead of actually fighting for the WC belt and fighting the WBC title holder and Devin Haney, he rather just clout chase mm-hmm. than undisputed. Yeah, it's a crazy world, man. It's a crazy sport. Let's talk about Lopez. How's not Lopez? Let's talk about uh Garcia. How's Garcia clout chasing? What makes Garcia a clout chaser? For, for one, Garcia has been talking about fighting Tank. Tank, 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 Tank. But what, what, what is Tank? Tank is the money guy and the biggest star at 135. He is that. He is that. So now you got Tank in your mouth. <clears throat> Tank finally gets tied up and says, hey, let's send him a contract. Let's see how serious he is. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, here come the clout chaser. I got something bigger. I got a bigger <laughs> fight. I can't talk about it. A couple of days go by. Supposedly Manny Pacquiao, right? But what happened yesterday? Tell tell us what happened yesterday. It's a funny situation. It seems like to me <laughs> like like Garcia and his promoter Oscar De La Hoya, they're not on the same page with the clout chasing. It, it actually seems like De La Hoya's tired of the clout chasing. He actually called out Garcia and said there was no possible Pacquiao fight. There was no Pacquiao fight in negotiation. There was an Instagram. There was an Instagram promotion. It wasn't a Golden Boy promotion. So let's backtrack real quick when it comes to Garcia. He he fought for the mandatory spot for Devin Haney's title 
Am I not am I not mistaken? He yeah. fought he fought to earn the number one contender spot. With Campbell. From Campbell. Yes. And then that fight, like the post fight, Devin Haney was in the arena. In that arena, he said in front of Devin Haney that he wasn't going to have that fight. That he he wanted to fight Tank. So he clout, he was clout chasing from that moment. From that moment, he said he wanted to fight Tank. A few days go by, he was on Mike Tyson's podcast, calling him and Tank was going back and forth on web on a web uh, conference call. Called Tank, he called Tank a bitch and said that you a bitch if you don't sign a contract if you don't fight me. And then literally the next week, literally the following week from that podcast, he said he's not taking the Tank fight now. That I have a bigger fight in store. So he was cloud chasing Tank also. It's it's a it's a weird sport, man. I don't know, man. Master clout chasers. It's like the social media age, people people attention spans are so short that they mm-hmm. they don't see clout chasing for what it is. They they just mm-hmm. think a fighter they think it's brave for a fighter to call another fighter out on social media. They think that's more brave than actually getting in the ring and fighting these people. You get more publicity off of naming a fighter than you do actually fighting a fighter. It's a shame, man. It's, I don't know where this sport headed to, but we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to let clout chasing be the next wave in boxing. Oh, yeah. We're going we gonna to call it out. Most we're going to cut no corners around here. No doubt. No, so, that's so, not going to so, ever happen. So, Ryan, your Manny Pacquiao fight is, is done. It's, it's not happening. So, what you going to do? Are you going to fight Devin Haney? Oh, you know he ain't gonna, gonna do that, man. Tank. He ain't fighting either one of them. He just he just using their name to both. I guarantee you, he fight. He probably more of my words. He probably fight somebody like Gamboa. Watch what I tell you. <laughs> he gonna fight somebody in the Gamboa League. Somebody who Tank and David already beat, but they're gonna market it to I don't know. Say after the, after yeah, I fight this, after I fight this guy now I'm going then I'm gonna fight one of the other two guys. He's gonna clout chase that fight also. But that's what we think. That's our opinion on 135, man. Let us know how we did. Let us know we talked about your favorite fighter too harshly. Maybe you are Ryan Garcia fan and you think we got too hard on him. Maybe you are a Lopez fan and you think we was too hard on him. Let us know in the comment section. Let them out of here, man. <clears throat> All right, man. Like and subscribe, man. We love boxing. Y'all love boxing, man. So we're going to bring y'all plenty of content, man, every day. Peace and love. We out. Peace.